Hello out there, and I know what you guys are thinking, just looking at all these honey badgers on the table, you're thinking, another video on this model already? Yeah. <laughs> so, there's a good reason for it, though. Um, what we have today, we have the large one that just came in, so I'm handling that for the first time, just unboxed this a bit ago. But also, I have a couple new mods of the smaller version that I did and completed, and I have to get these on camera today because this one is getting shipped to its new home to my buddy Ray over at uh, EDCC, Everyday City Carry. So yeah, I gotta talk about these now, and I know I said the first time I talked about this model, you'd probably be seeing a bunch of videos about it in the future, but I didn't really expect to have that many um, this soon. But here we are, and it's a good thing. I'm excited about it. So let's talk about the mods first, and then we'll get into uh, to this big guy and compare him to the rest. All right. But uh, the modifications for the smaller one uh, were just a lot of fun to do. This has just been a great knife to work on. You know, the medium-sized one, I did the acid etch on, and that was fine, and, and that worked out really well, and I, I like the color of the scales that I did. But these two, has it's just been even better for me. I've had an absolute blast working on them. It's a really easy model to modify, which is uh, definitely a good thing. And there's just a lot that you can do, especially since we have beige scales that we can work with and, and get a lot of different color variety on those scales. So let's start with Ray's knife first. Um, this one, I, I dyed this navy blue and I tried to fade it into a green. And so if we can get this up close, you can see it starts dark and then it starts to get a little bit lighter and then a light green to a dark green. And the transition here just wasn't perfect, but it still works out pretty well. So I'm happy with that. One thing that I really like about it is that the backspacer is green and then it goes to blue. So again, that has that transition. So that's pretty neat. When it comes to this model though, the best thing about it probably when it comes to mods is the hardware. So often when you're doing a modification of like hardware and you're trying to heat anno, your window in each color, like whether it's bronze or especially purple and then to blue, the window is very, very small. So you get that color and then you capture it as much as you can and then it starts to go away very quickly onto the next color. And um, with this, there's just been a very nice window, a nice big window where I was able to get some good bronze and purple, like a little mix. Uh, on the hardware so that worked out really nicely and mostly bronze a little bit of purple on the uh, the pivot and then on the clip um, it was really polished clip and I just tried to get whatever color I could and it came out sort of rainbowy and yeah I'm happy with that so overall really happy with the way this came out and then I did do one thing and as we bring in the other knife uh, maybe it'll be a little more apparent but I did hit the blade here with a little bit of polish. Just polished it a couple times on each side um, with my flits and the Dremel. And one thing that I didn't say in the first video about the Honey Badger, but one thing that I just didn't love was the finish on the blade. And I wasn't sure if it was just mine or if it was going to be all of them. And yeah, the satin, just like the, the base satin... Um, not that it's a big deal because, again, this is just a budget knife, but it's just a little bit foggy and not quite, it just doesn't pop the way that I would want it to. And so, yeah, I hit it with the, the polish and it looks a whole lot more like what I would want it to. <laughs> so that worked out really well. It gives it a little more classy look. And definitely, even though there's a lot of fingerprints on it, I mean, it is uh, easy to tell the difference between one and the other. So there's that. And then on this one, this one I did a, a, a blue to, a, to darker blue fade going top to bottom. And that was fun to do. And you can see the distinction there. Uh, the fade worked out a little bit better. And so in certain light, you can't even tell that it's different colors. And that was sort of the goal. And so at the top, you can see this is the, uh, the lighter color on the backspacer. And then this darker navy at the top. And then the hardware is all bluish purple. And again, just that window with the quality of the hardware. This side of the pivot is a little more like purpley. But came out really great. And then the clip again, like this, uh, this rainbowy pattern. 
So, so yeah, really good models. Um, of the three, I man, I think the small one is going to be my favorite, just overall when it comes to to use and function. But they're all good, and that sort of gives me the segue to go to this guy right here, this large one. So take a look. Here is the large one versus the small. So neither of them are that different from the medium, but. You know, without the medium one there between them, there is a huge difference between the small and the large. And what I've said a couple times in, in all these videos, but just in the past, I've said it about certain models that had plasticky scales, is the larger the knife is, the more flimsy and cheap those plastic scales seem to feel, whether it's a Griptilian or Delica versus an Endura, you know, stuff like that. But with this, I'm very happy with the way that this knife feels in the hand. And... If you're looking for a pretty good full-size beater, man, this is a this is a good knife. The action is just as good as the other two. The the fit and finish is just as good. I'm impressed with it. You know, and I got this one to modify as well, so that's what I'll be doing. But um, but yeah, if you are interested in this knife, just to pick up and use. And for those of you who really cared about, you know, my opinion of the larger one, I got to tell you, it's there. It is just as good as the other ones. And one thing that I really like about it is that because it is larger, um, it's heavier, and the knife just falls shut even better just because of the weight of the blade. So action on it is very, very good. So this one will be modded as well, and I'm thinking, you know, long term, potentially about just buying a, a bunch of these, seeing if I can eventually get these wholesale or something, because uh, I'm having a blast. It's just a great knife to mod, um, a great knife to carry. Just, yeah, excited about it, and there seems to be a lot of interest. So um, this one, if you're wondering about the availability of them, I was able to go on Amazon and get this shipped immediately. I did at the same time order another smaller one, and that one is still sort of pending because uh, they're out of stock. But that's just going to happen as we come and go uh, towards, you know, the the supply and demand being met. But eventually, you know, you'll be able to find them pretty easily. So just keep your eye out if you are interested in this. But I definitely recommend the larger one. In addition to the medium and the small. So one more time, we'll just line them up. there we have it guys so which one out of these would be your favorite not necessarily the mods just the size of the knife but mods too which one do you like the best and any other questions comments complaints suggestions as always let me know down below i really appreciate it guys look forward to it uh ray hopefully you enjoy this one and i'll talk with you all soon take care